Hello guys, welcome to the DMS Online School. In this video, I want us to revise this question here, which was posted in my Telegram group by one of my online um, students. So they posted this question and they wanted me to help them to answer this question. But before I answered this question, I actually told them that um, uh, they have to think very well for them to answer this question because we covered this topic in the group and then uh, they just needed to apply their thinking for them to be able to answer such a question All right so i'm going to answer this question here and you must be very very attentive attentive i mean to to understand the thinking that is involved to answer this question so let's read the question together the question says um the following diagrams show an unstretched spring of foot 10 centimeters and a stretched spring. We have another stretched spring of 22 centimeters when a force of 4 newton is applied. So you have to understand the English for you to answer this question. If you can't understand the English, then how are you going to answer the question? So first of all, understand that telling you that the diagrams here show an unstretched spring of four ten centimeters. There is this spring here, which is not stretched. It is just the way it is, and its length is ten centimeters. Okay, and a stretched spring of twenty-two centimeters, and a string that has been stretched, stretched of 22 centimeters when a force of 4 newton is applied here there's a force of 4 newton applied and the string it was this one now it has been stretched okay a 4 newton force it is now stretched so the question says calculate the total length of a spring when a force of um, 6 newton is applied they now want to say you calculate the total length of the spring when a force of foam for newton is applied so meaning this same spring um you think now the way i am thinking you imagine like it has now been stretched because when they apply a force of four newton the stretching that was done by a four newton will be less because six is are greater than four so it will be like that so let's say here is a six newton so now they are saying now they need you to find this length from here length l which we can give maybe final f from there to there you see when you think like that the answering already becomes easy so for you to be able to answer this question, you need to apply Hooke's law. So let's try answering applying Hooke's law. Hooke's law, in terms of a formula, first let me write solution. So Hooke's law, in terms of a formula, is F is equal to K, then E. So F is the force, and then K is what we call spring constant. And then E is extension. Okay. So this extension is also found by extension is equal to uh, length, final length of the spring minus original length. F final or original. So F final length, original length. So in this case, um, if this is the spring, right? And then the final length they want this one like from here to here we can call it l like that original length then like this one they are looking for can be called final length okay so the question then is we want to know this but this is connected with this formula and then this E is connected with this so then we need to know E for us to be able to answer this question 
So E can be found using this equation, okay? So how do we find E? That's why we have been given this other one here. The, it was original before stretching, after stretching, it went to this. So this gives us a spring constant. This other one will give us a spring constant. So let's make spring constant the subject of the formula. K is going to be equal to F over E. So are we able to find the E here? Yes, because this one also can become the final length from here up to here. We can also label this one as a final length. Because why? Because before stretching, it was original. After stretching, it went to there. So we can find um, we can find k, and when we find k, we use it. That it is called spring constant. The the rigidity of um of a spring to to stretch. How a spring resists stretching. That is what we call spring constant. So the, it is the same here and here. Once we know it here, we can use that spring constant to find the length here. So it is important we find the, the, the spring constant here, the rigidity of the spring itself or the resistance of the spring itself to stretch. So we we'll find it here where we say equals the force first used here was four over divided by our uh, extension we can find it here we can apply the same formula here final length was 22 centimeters minus original length four is 10 centimeters so this one will give us 22 centimeters minus 10 which will give us 12 centimeters so this is extension now extension should be is a distance so distance is measured in meters. So convert this one in meters by dividing by 100 so that it becomes a 12 divided by 100 it will be 0 0.12 meters. So this will be extension. So this extension now, you pick it, put it here, 0 0.12. So you divide now uh, 4 by 0 0.12 which will give you something like 33.33, that will be Newton per meter. This will be the spring constant. So this is the rigidity or the resistance of a spring to stretch. So once you find this one, then you are good to go, guys. So then you shift to this one. So now you know, oh, this is the spring constant here that will guide you throughout. So then, once you know the spring constant, now you come back to this question saying, calculate the total length of a spring when a force of uh, 6 newton is applied. Now you need to calculate this length here. So for you to know length here, you must know stretch or extension here. So you get the same formula, you say, okay, F is equal to K times C extension. You have known K, so all you need to know is how much it was extended here. Okay? How much this was it extended. But if you want this extension, you can substitute it by this. That is if you want. So let's just substitute it there and then. So that maybe we don't waste much of the time. So we can say F is going to be equal to K times E is given by L F minus L original like that. You do it in advance. So then we we'll substitute. We know that our F force here is this one. Here we we'll put six newton is equal to our K thirty three. Um, point uh, three. Then here, open brackets. I'll just put this one. F final from here to here is what we're looking for. So just put L final minus. Then L original is this length here, which is it. 
10 centimeters. Now, 10 centimeters we convert also to meters. So 10 centimeters convert to meters, we divide by 100 so that it gives you 0 0.10 meters. So here we put just 0 0.10 meters like that. Then because we are looking for for this, it is good as it also dividing this one by zip by 3.3 .3, oh sorry it will be a uh, 3.33 also here you divide by 3.33 that is 33 so this one will go so here you say 33.33 into 6 it will be 0 0.18 then it is going to be equal to here we are going to have uh, L final minus 0 0.10. So here it's just a matter of making L final the subject of the formula. So either we cross this one comes here, it will be 0 0.18. Uh, this one becomes positive so plus uh, 0 0.10 is equal to L final. Then when we add 0 0.18 plus 0 0.10, it will be 0 0.28, then is equal to LF. So therefore, therefore we can say therefore, length, which is this one I found here, is going to be, is going to be equal to 0 0.28, meters remember we are working in meters but if it is to put it you can say oh if it is in centimeter multiply this convert meters into centimeters by multiplying by 100 you multiply by 100 it becomes 28 centimeters this is the length here this is how long it is going to extend from here to here it will be now 28 centimeters so it makes sense if you apply a force if the original length of a spring is 10 centimeters then you apply a force of um, 4 newton it extends to 22 centimeters if you apply a force of 6 newton it has to stretch further to 28.8 i mean to 28 centimeters so this is how this question was supposed to be answered guys so thank you very much for watching us for now bye and see you in the next video Peace.